there are so many big black bubbles like I'll be damned if I allow a female, a modern day, a genetically modified modern day female at that to come through and mess up what it's taking all my damn life practically to build. Also, I can maybe get a hot meal cooked. But then again, I have all of this extra baggage I have to work through and all of this attitude and all of this reprogram, uh, reprogramming, deprogramming. Oh, hell no. Nah, I'll be damned. Just so I can maybe get a little sex on the daily. Maybe. Oh, hell no. Nah, I'll be damned. I'll just keep my little rotation. This is the environment that we have created, ladies. And then we we complain about it. We complain about men not wanting to settle down, not wanting to take us seriously, not wanting to commit. But look at what we do. We have created this shit. Commit to what? For what? We did this shit. And now we mad that men are like, oh, well, I'm good with just having y'all in the rotation. Or I'm good with just going somewhere else. Or I'm good being by my damn self. Now we want to call y'all weak, incels, um, conquered, uh, tease y'all for having male brides and all this other bullshit. Like, you did that, though. A lot of us, we contribute to the very things we're complaining about. Now we mad. Oh, these men ain't serious. They don't want to take nobody serious. They don't want to settle down. They don't want to do nothing. We did that shit, though. Because what did we give them that would make them want to do those things? What did we show and prove to men that would lead them to the conclusion of, oh, okay, let me go ahead and wipe this up? Nothing. All, of, all we did was play games. And now men are like, you know what? For one, I'm either going to play games back on that ass or I'm going to bow out gracefully. Now we mad. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. A lot of the men that I see, way too mature for the damn games. They let you know right up front what it is and what it's not and what it's never going to be. They let you know. So there's no games involved. Now, I did have to be honest enough to let y'all know that there are men that do string you along and all of that. But for the most part, a lot of these men are men. I don't have time for the games. I'm going to let you know up front, close and personal, what it is. That way, you cannot tell me that, you know, you did not know. This is what I'm looking for. This is not what I'm looking for. Do you meet this or don't you? If you don't, I'm going to go over here. If you do, we can see where this goes. But I'm not here for the games. And a lot of us cannot handle that level of honesty and truth and no nonsense and masculinity. We can't handle that. And again, a lot of us have contributed to these environments. We've created them. We've allowed them to fester. We did that. Now we want to be upset when men are like, you know what? I don't even desire that. I don't even want that. That's too, that's risky business. I don't got time for it. I don't see you that way. Men being that honest with y'all. And now y'all mad? No, you just messed it up. A lot of y'all have messed it up for yourselves and every woman around you. And again, I got to keep referencing back that poll that we took earlier. A lot of black men are still holding on to hope. But they're not playing games with it. And the moment that they come to realize that it's dead and it's not working. I don't know what you're going to do, sis. I don't. A lot of black men are just like big black bubba. Y'all done messed up and allowed men to see 
that damn, it's pretty damn dope over here by myself. Y'all messed up. Y'all gave men a taste of life without you and they loved it. Y'all gave men a taste of what it was like to be able to do what you needed to do, what you wanted to do, whenever you wanted to do it, however you wanted to do it. And they loved it because it didn't come with all of this extra baggage, headache, drama, trauma, confusion, dysfunction, chaos, toxicity attached to it. Y'all did that. Y'all messed it up. Y'all messed up, baby. They're like, damn, it's pretty damn comfortable. I like this. I can get used to this. And y'all have set it up even more nicely to where men can now have their cake and eat it too. Let's get into that. See, not only do you have big black bubbles out there like, you know what? I got a taste of this and I like it. I like being by myself. I'll be damned if I let somebody come in and mess it up. But I'm still able to have a little fun. Amen. So at any given time, I can still call up a female for a certain type of attention. Right? At any given time, I can still kick it. Because what we messed up what we got it messed up is this. A lot of big black bubbles got options. They always had options. They were just ready and willing to get rid of those options and not explore them for the sake of working with you. But now y'all done messed up and let these men see that, damn, I can have the best of all worlds. I can get a woman to bust it open for me, cook for me, clean for me with no commitment. Why? Because I'm the man like that. I got my finance together, my business in order. I'm no nonsense. I'm masculine. So I can still have that. Y'all done messed it up. Very much so, Twissy. Cup and seeds will cancel like a motherfucker. And a lot of us women have done that. We contributed to that. And now we want to be mad? Girl. Girl. These men been had options. 